pumpkin spaghetti with guanciale and a cream of gorgonzola? Come on, let's get cooking. It's October, it's autumn, so it's pumpkin season. And pumpkins are great little vegetables because you can make so many amazing recipes. And today we're gonna to make some amazing spaghetti with guanciale gorgonzola. It's gonna be delicious. Starting off with the ingredients, it always starts with a great olive oil. I'm gonna use holistico. Then we're gonna have our sweet pumpkin, the trilogy of herbs, rosemary, thyme, and sage, a red onion, a little bit of milk, some leek, salt and pepper, of course, guanciale, dolce latte, which is more of a creamy, more delicate gorgonzola, and spaghetti, you can use any pasta you like. And step number one is the prepping of the pumpkin. So we just cut it in half. And we got to empty the inside. With the inside, you can just take a spoon and spoon it out. All these seeds, of course, you can keep them. You can cook them in the oven and they become healthy snacks. Or like today, we're just gonna throw them away. For cleaning the pumpkin, you just need to scrape all the borders. You wanna get rid of all these filaments until you get just a nice smooth skin. And once you have two hollow halves, you've scraped enough. Of course, you can use a lot of different variety of pumpkin for this recipe. And depending on the pumpkin you use, you may want to remove or not the skin. This pumpkin actually has really soft skin, so we're gonna keep it. And once we cut it into cubes, into our baking tray. To our tray, we're gonna add one red onion. And each half, we just cut it into four and dump it in. And now we get to move to our trio of herbs. You can choose whatever you like. I like to put a little bit of thyme. I just love the smell of thyme with the zucca, with the pumpkin, it's just great. Some sage, again, fantastic flavors. And a little bit of rosemary. We just break it in. Salt. Pepper. And the smells already coming out of this tray are insane. They're just a the smell of autumn. But to make it even more so, we take some good extra virgin olive oil. I like Lecina from Pasto della Palomba, which by the way, Pasto della Palomba started today to harvest the 2022 harvest. So if you guys want some fresh olive oil, let me know and I'll hook you up. Give it a mix. You can get your hands dirty if you want. <laughs> I always get dirty, so here we go. And our tray now goes into a preheated oven at 200 degrees Celsius for as long as it takes to get a fork right through the pumpkin. So let's go. And this goes in. And while that cooks, we get to prepare my favorite ingredient in the whole wild world, guanciale. Guanciale is cured pork cheek. If you cannot find it, pancetta, which is cured pork belly, is also equally fine. But the guanciale just elevates it that extra level. In fact, any recipe, you add guanciale and it's just a better recipe. It's just a fact. With the guanciale, I'm gonna make four slices. It's three of us today. So one slice each plus an extra one. In fact, what the hell with it? Let's put one extra slice. Guanciale at the bottom has got this bit. This is just the skin. So that one, we don't want to eat it. So we just take it and we cut it out. Also, when you find sometimes in the guanciale, he has the corners which are a bit yellow. That means that the curing went a little bit too deep. So that's a little bit of a strong flavor. You may decide to take it out, you know, or not. It's really up to you. Slice it in half and then into little rectangles. Ideally, you want them all the same size so they all cook at the same time. Look, look how amazing. Just the heat from my hand is melting away the fat. This is just incredible. And when it comes with guanciale or pancetta, I say this in every video, so you should know by now. And if it's the first time you're watching one of my videos, consider subscribing. You should put it into a cold pan first and let the pan heat up and slowly melt away the fat. You wanna keep it to a medium temperature so the outside gets nice and crispy while the inside retains 
that grease, so when you take a bite, there's this explosion of flavor. In with the guanciale, no need for any oil, and medium heat. So this took about 30 minutes, still nice and hot. Let's taste one. Oh, delicious. And what we want to do now is take away the twigs. We don't need those. Things like the sages become super crispy. This is delicious. And then we take everything and we put it into our mixer. Um, well, you know, it goes all the way to the brim. Ideally, you want a little bit lower, but anyway. In here, what you want to add is a splash of water. You can use cooking water. I haven't done cooking water yet, so I don't have it. And I'm going to give you two options. Depending how, you know, fat friendly you're feeling, you can either put a little knob of butter or if you're going to be a little bit more healthy, a little swirl of extra virgin olive oil. Not too much because, as you know, we already put some olive oil while we cooked this. And now we take it for a spin until we make it super creamy. And once it's nice and creamy, you're done. Give it a taste. Mm. If you think it's a bit too dense, then you just add a little bit more cooking water or just, you know, plain water until you get to a nice creamy consistency. You're basically going for something like this. I mean, you could sieve it at this point, especially if you have kids that don't like bits. I actually quite like the bits, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. The guanciale is nice and crispy and it's nearly done. So the next few things don't take very much, so we're gonna do them all at the same time. So start with the pasta. Water is boiling, salt, crank up the heat, pasta's here, break it, this is about 300 grams, and they go in. So we can use the tongs, pasta is in. Then, guanciale is nice and crispy, so this we take it out. And of course we keep the wonderful fat because we're gonna need it and it's gonna add a lot of flavor. Next we take our leek, take away the bob and then we cut it really thinly. Leek and pumpkin are an amazing combination. And here we're gonna use the same fat to throw the leek in. and get that flavor. And now I bet you thought I forgot the dolce latte, but I didn't, so this is what we're gonna do. In a small pot, I'm gonna put some of the dolce latte, or gorgonzola, whatever you can find, and a splash of milk. Heating on, and we want this to slowly melt, and this is gonna create some great cream that we're gonna use to top up our spaghetti. Once the gorgonzola is melted, we're gonna let this bubble away, it's gonna become a little bit more dense, and we're gonna look for the consistency that we need to finish it off. Pasta, we cooked it five minutes out of the 10 indicated in the pack, and we're gonna finish off here. Give this a whirl, it's getting more and more dense, nearly there. Increase the heat on this one. Ladle of pasta water. Here are the bubbles. These are our pasta cooking. And we're gonna add our sauce. Nice and creamy. And I like to clean the spoon. Mm. And the smell is just phenomenal. And we're gonna keep adding ladles of pasta water, slowly letting it absorb until the pasta is completely cooked. And then after a few minutes, just like magic, the pasta is ready. And of course you get to add your crunchy pancetta and a little bit of your gorgonzola cream. And this is the final product. And for those of you that like things extra creamy, of course, you can add more sauce. And it goes without saying, I've been looking forward to eating this since I started cooking. The smell is great. Let me get some 
Gwen Chal as well. Mm. So good. What up, please don't.